This overview demonstrates how cohorts are used to search and download data. A cohort is a group of subjects, all of whom share the same characteristics. Once you create a cohort in the IDA, you can download data specifically for those subjects. Cohorts are the end products from building IDA searches. There are three steps in this process. The first step is to explore the data and choose variables of interest. Next, build your cohort by choosing variable values. This creates a filter that selects subjects and images for the cohort from the study. Lastly, use your cohort to download tables and images for the subjects in the cohort. For example, let's search for subjects with an APOE4 allele. Use a keyword search to find data associated with APOE. Click on the APOE variable to view the APOE genotypes of the subjects in the study. Subject data is provided in both graphical and tabular displays. This allows you to explore the data while you search for subjects. Next, let's create a cohort of subjects who have at least one APOE4 allele. Click Create a new filter button to view filter options. Choose the filter option, choose subjects with selected values of APOE, and then click the Create New Filter button at the bottom. Uncheck the 3, 3, 2, 3, and 2, 2 genotypes that do not have an APOE4 allele. There are 302 subjects selected by the filter and 2,998 images from those subjects. Create the filter by clicking the Done button at the bottom. A new filter has been added, and we have created a cohort of APOE4 subjects. Let's add assessments data to our collection. The assessments data table appears in the collections tab. The images table shows the image data that is associated with the cohort. We can use the new cohort to download data for subjects in the cohort. With the new cohort selected in the menu, download tables and images from the downloads tab. Downloads will only contain data for subjects in the selected cohort. A CSV manifest of the images in this cohort is also available. After you click a download link, the download will automatically start in your browser. You can monitor the download progress in the browser's downloads panel. For further information, watch our other instructional videos.